Hello children, today is going to be the last class of the electromagnetism chapter. In a previous classes, we covered unit A and unit B. Even in a unit C, we could discuss electromagnetic induction. And a previous class, we discussed about AC generator. So to go through the previous classes, children, again, I'm telling you, just go through the description where links are shared so that what will happen, just click those links so that what will happen, you will be taken to the unit A and unit B and some topics of unit C also. Just go through these videos, get some knowledge and come back to this class so that you will be learning a last important topic of this chapter. So what is that chapter? What is that topic? Sorry, not chapter. What is that topic? which we'll be learning today that's before the children so let us just uh, tell me one thing can we imagine modern world without electric current obviously no so we cannot imagine we cannot imagine the modern love modern life without electric current so we know that how we'll get how this uh, power supply will take place and all these things which were discussed in uh, household circuits right okay that you leave it so in our house you can go to in anyone's house children do you think that they will be using only one electric appliance. No, it's not that. So you can take any house children, definitely. They'll be using a more than one electric appliance. Might be TV, might be bulb, might be what we can say laptop, electric bill, mixy, grinder, refrigerator. But tell me one thing. Do you think that all these electric appliances will work with the same voltage? Obviously, no children. Acha. Let us recall once again. So, with what voltage the power is uh, power you know is supplied to our houses, children? Come on, let us recall. Come on, yes. With what voltage, children? Yes, 220 volts. But my point is that do you think that this 220 volts is sufficient for a, your calling bell or your television or a refrigerator? No. So, different electric appliances will work with a different voltages. Then how? Who will supply all these things? Yes. So for, for suppose you can take electric bell children, which work with uh, around 5 volt or 6 volt. If you can take a television, more than 5000 volts, just rough values I am telling you, not exact values. Then what? There must be a change in the voltage, right? When it is needed small amount, voltage must be decreased. When, when it is needed large in a quantity or a, a large in a amount, definitely voltage must be increased. Then who is doing that wonderful duty in our house children? So about that device only today we will be learning. So what is that device children? Yes. What is that? Transformer. This is a very, 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 very important. So what is the transformer children? So don't think the transformer will give you power. No. It is a, like a mediator. I can say that. So which can change the alternating EMF or which can change the voltage so transformer is a device which will alter or which will change the voltage or emf input voltage or input emf so if you want it can increase or if you want it can decrease depends on depends depends whether you want high voltage yes it can we will use a type one type of a transformer if you want to decrease if you need a less amount of voltage yes we use a another type of transformer so first let us make a three important points regarding transformer children so the first point is that so transformer what happens which very very important which changes which changes very important input input emf or we can say voltage also input emf or voltage that's fine and the second one children, this is very very important, which does not, very very important, which does not change, which does not change frequency of the power supply, very 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 important, frequency of the power supply. Let us recall once again, with what frequency the power is generated at power generating station children, 50 hertz. With what voltage power is supplied to our houses, 50 voltage, 50 hertz only. So. At a power generating station, frequency is 50, volt, 50 uh, hertz only. At our house also, frequency is 50 hertz only. In between, we'll use many transformers, right? But which do not change the frequency. So here, uh, what we can say, transformer does not change, does not change the frequency. Very important. 50 hertz means it will be 
50 hertz only and one more important thing is that uh, which does not work which does not work with does not work with dc current does not work with dc current it works with only ac current why we will discuss that don't worry just remember that we are going to discuss anyhow the principle of working of transformer so it does not work with the dc and a fourth important point children what is the principle yeah here we'll be discussing now principle actually so it works on electromagnetic induction which works with electromagnetic induction electromagnetic induction strictly speaking mutual induction mutual inductance of course when you go to the 11th class there you will be discussing about the self inductance and mutual inductance here it is not required in exam if they will ask you on which principle does it work yes you cannot just electromagnetic induction now let us try to understand the principle of working of transformer children so here let us take two coils okay here is let us say it's one coil very good and here is let us take one more coil first let us try to understand the concept so in these two one coil we can call as primary coil another coil we can call as secondary coil so i have noticed you know many situations of course many students they are thinking that left one is a primary coil right one is a secondary coil or some students are thinking no 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 uh, right one is a primary coil uh, left one is a secondary coil chill it is not that so left right so don't go blindly it's very very important so which one is a primary coil you know children the coil across which input is applied is a primary coil in a primary coil only input emf is applied okay now fine if you apply here it is a primary coil if you apply in this this is a primary coil so let us take that here so here is battery will be there let us say here is rheostat battery it says key okay so and here is a second call means for children so across which we get output so let us take a galvanometer in order to check galvanometer children now okay you forget about a transfer and all these things let us think children here is one coil so there is no physical contact yes there is no physical contact and this is a galvanometer children we know very well what is the specialty of the galvanometer it is used to detect the current in the circuit now children do you think that in this uh, coil galvanometer will be showing deflection children obviously no why because there is no power source so obviously it will be showing a zero reading only okay that's fine now in this coil in this coil try to understand so here try to understand now power is not passing current is not passed through this coil so the moment when you switch on the moment when you switch on or switch off in that case only in that case only, the moment when you switch on or switch off in that case only what is happening you know we can find some deflections in a g we can find a deflection g okay if not let us say okay it is continuously on only and with the help of rear start children as what is the purpose of rear start it is used to change the it is used to control the amount of current so as you are changing the pointer position for a rear start what will happen the different amounts of current is passing children let us recall once again oersted experiment what was proved with oersted experiment children whenever current passes through the coil or uh, whenever current passes through a conductor there will be a magnetic field around that conductor same thing we discussed with the solenoid right so current carrying solenoid behaves like a bar magnet now don't think that this coil through this current is passing yes current is passing what type of current is passing alternating current why we are changing of course you may get a one out sir instead of it's a bad instead of this one i will just uh, apply directly uh, ac current okay no problem but as you are using here you know battery yes with the help of rear start we can change the amount of current we already know we already learned in our experiment as you are changing the current see when a current is passing through the when current is passing through the coil there will be a magnetic field is produced but can we change the magnet of the current obviously how by changing the amount of current in the circuit 
now children so as we are changing the current in the primary coil so that the magnetic field which is produced around this primary coil also changes but don't you think that this secondary coil is placed near to it so that for example an example of telling you so like this field lines are passing field lines are passing yes yes these are field lines are passing like this let us say example children we already learned in electromagnetic induction whenever magnetic field lines are passing through a certain area there will be some magnetic flux there will be magnetic flux as we are changing the current in this circuit the magnetic field also changes as the magnetic field changes the number of magnetic field lines which are passing through the secondary coil also changes which means what there will be some change in magnetic flux linked with the secondary coil there will be some change in magnetic flux linked with the secondary coil whenever there is a change in magnetic flux whenever there is a change in magnetic flux there will be a induced emf that is what we learned in a faraday's law of electromagnetic induction so this rate of change of magnetic flux only causes induced emf which causes induced emf whenever there is induced emf there is a induced current there is a induced current that's it this is a principle of working of transformer children here directly it is not connected to this in this primary coil we are changing the current so that the magnetic field around the primary coil is changing then what is happening the magnetic field lines due to this primary coil are passing through the secondary coil which causes change in magnetic flux which produces emf and leads to the induced current that's it okay actually this one is strictly we can call it the mutual inductance so in a secondary coil due to the first one right as we are changing current as we are changing a voltage in a first uh, primary coil in a sec simultaneously in a secondary coil also it changes is it clear yes so this is a uh, please uh, what we can say uh, points important points related to the transformer and it's a principle of working of transformer can i read this children okay three two one go okay oh na, 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 na. let me erase this fine children i think some students are thinking sir why are you teaching this much slowly sir you can go very fast right so that we can complete our preparation is yes, my dear children see but try to understand so if you can understand the principle of working only then we have that feel okay na fine children now come to the transformer so there are mainly three parts will be there in this transformer there are three okay first one is children primary coil first one is a primary coil and the next second one is secondary coil yeah oh, second one is secondary coil huh? okay secondary coil third one is core third one is core so usually it is made up of with the insulated it is made up of the insu what is this insulated soft iron insulated soft iron made in the form of rectangular rectangular in shape rectangular in shape is it clear children so what i mean sir in a rough man first i am telling you so look at here here is a rectangular soft iron uh, soft iron core let us say that soft iron made like this so like this number of insulated soft iron rectangular shapes will be there they are placed one above the other so that we can get the pile we can get the pile so why only you may get one out sir why we need to use the insulated soft iron in order to reduce the energy loss that's it don't think much about it don't think much about it it is not needed even okay in exam they'll ask a question also yes in order to minimize in order to minimize the power loss energy loss you can say that okay fine so it is a rectangular insulated soft iron so one side one insulated copper coil is wound another side which will be wound so like this and you know, just a rough diagram trying to show you okay now so your children again i'm telling you which one is a primary coil how to identify very simple the coil across which input is applied is actually simply what children simply what it is a primary coil so let us say here ac we are applying obviously it is again i'm telling children it won't work with the dc why the current has to change continuously 
in the primary coil so that the magnetic field around the primary coil will changes so that the magnetic field lines which are passing through the secondary coil will changes so that there will be some change in magnetic flux linked with the secondary coil which causes induced emf that is our idea okay now fine so this is a primary coil so simply it is a primary coil let us say the primary and this is across which we are going to get output let us say output okay this is simply secondary coil simply what it is a secondary coil here we need to understand one important term so called turns ratio very 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 important turns ratio turns ratio so this will represent the small n chill and let us say in this the number of turns are np means number of turns in the primary coil in this ns number of turns in a secondary coil okay now fine now it is defined as the number of turns in a secondary coil to the number of turns in a primary coil very 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 important very means very much important so what is turns ratio children it is a ratio between the turns turns like in a secondary coil to the turns in a primary coil so based on this turns ratio only we are going to understand the types of transformers children here we have two types of transformers step up transformer step down transformer what is the purpose of step up transformer chilla in order to increase the voltage then we need a step up transformer for what we need a step down transformer in order to decrease the voltage we need a step down transformer so look at here if 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 ns is uh, greater than np children means numerator is greater than denominator then obviously turns ratio will be greater than 1 so turns ratio is greater than 1 such a transformer is called what we can say step up transformer very very important step up transformer so how the diagram will be there look at here children in examination they might ask you what is a uh, if n is greater than 1 name the transformer and they may ask you to draw the diagram also sometimes look at here so second recall turn should be more primary coil turn should be less just i'm Ma, this this very not this many very very less it will be more just for feel i'm just giving okay now so here like this it will be so here it is a ac current is applied ac current so this is a step of transformer okay now come to the if children if a uh, number of turns in a secondary coil are less than the number of turns in a primary coil then turns ratio will be less than one such a transformer is called step down transformer step up step down okay now so step down transformer okay now so how the diagram is going to be yes look at here so step down transformer which means what voltage has to be reduced voltage or input voltage so here primary coil has more turns whereas secondary coil less turns so let us say the input voltage input that's it very very important so turns ratio will decide actually so if a turns ratio is greater than 1 step up transformer turns ratio is less than uh, what we can say less than 1 step down transformer diagram is just copy it now here one more important uh, point to be remembered here very 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 important for suppose chill okay ns is a number of turns in the secondary coil np is a number of turns in the primary coil so in this let es is a emf applied sorry in a primary coil is ep right yes so in this es is a emf linked with the secondary coil and in this let us say ip is a current passing through the primary coil in this is the current passing through the secondary coil then how these quantities are related very very important children it's very clear to all of us that see here uh, how to increase the emf for example if you want to output uh, emf more then how what we have to do we have to increase the number of turns children by increasing the number of turns you can increase the emf induced emf so induced emf depth induced emf produced depends on depends on what children emf it depends on turns ratio very very important depends on turns ratio so here children emf is directly proportional to the number of turns number i able to see let me check number of turns okay so this i can write here es by ep 
is equal to n s by n p e s by e p is equal to n s by n p is it clear fine and here one more important thing children here so during the what we can say power tran power transmission we expect power remains constant there should there shouldn't be any power loss there shouldn't be any power loss so whenever power remains constant children we know very well that here emf into i is a constant so which means what here e is inversely proportional to i which means what here es by ep is equal to ip by is this is how emf and current related so here i need space hope you have copied this okay fine now look at here yeah look at here so these two i can uh, merge like this i can write es by ep is equal to ns by np is equal to ip by is children here many students are asking us to make a some three four numericals are there based on transformer but the thing is that as per the boards you know it's uh, numericals are not there numericals are not there in the syllabus as per the board okay we'll just two to three numericals are there if possible try to make a video for your knowledge so if you are interested just go through it but it is not compulsory for your boards numericals are not there based on the transformers clear fine so this is all about the transformer and here children then what are the applications of a transformer so in in the in exam you know they may ask you the common application or special they might ask you what are the application of step up transformer children so step up transformer is used in the power supply right you remember once you go to the household circuits in a unit we discuss the uh, what we can sorry power distribution yes in a power distribution we use step up transformer so power at a power generating station we generate the power with 11 kb but that has to be increased to 132 kb there we use a step up transformer even at televisions also we use a step up transformers is it clear fine and where even you know in a uh, in the x ray uh, production in order to uh, there we need a high voltage is needed there we use a step up transformer then where we can use step down transformers yes so we can use a small small things like a, of course even we use a power sub, uh, power transmission also we use a step down transformer when power is supplied to the okay main substation main substation to the when it comes to city substation in between in a 3 to 4 areas we will use a step down transformers even for calling bell as i told you that we need a less amount of voltage where we need we use a step down transformers is a clear children fine so this is all about a, a transformer so as i told you that we'll try to upload that a 3 to 4 numericals are there in a couple of days and we are going to make a one shot video on electromagnetism so that it is going to be very useful to you all okay children thank you so much all the very best